Okay, the next thing we wanna go over with POP3 is a new feature on it. And really it's all our scanners are starting to have this is single shot mode, it's really cool. It's pretty much just like how you would use a camera, similar concept, one frame at a time. All our continuous shot scanners, it's shooting frames just like that, but this way you can really control it. So there are some definite benefits to that. For one, it's easier, it's not as many frames, so it's gonna, when it comes to editing, it's gonna edit a lot faster. Also, it's easier to discover where you do scan, have an error, you can just simply go back, which makes it a lot nicer too. So let me give you an example with that. And actually, I like to not have the handle on when I'm doing using single shot mode. But let me show you an example of doing using the undo feature, which is really nice. And always make sure in your depth camera mode, let it first auto adjust before you snap your shot, because that could definitely um, add to some tracking loss. So here we go, if I go like this, look at that, I forgot to change it over. So make sure you change it over to single shot mode. <clears throat> so now if I go like that and I turn it a full quarter turn, this is an issue alignment error because you always want to at least catch 35 to 50 percent of the previous point clouds so that's something important to keep in mind so don't turn that much just do little turns at a time for each frame but like I mentioned you can undo this just go back to the previous frame you can start over from the start And I'm just snapping the shots on the back of the scanner because you have that option. You, of course, could keep your hand on the mouse or the computer and directly snap on the desktop itself. But it's definitely more convenient just pressing here. A nice thing about single shot mode, if you want to take a rest, just simply pause like this. The other scanners, you can do that as well. You can just pause it and rest it for a little bit. The tracking should pick up, but since this isn't on the turntable and you haven't moved it, it's really easy to just pick up where you last left off. So now I want to go a little higher just because I know there's some holes at the top of his head. And now as you can see, I can turn it a little bit more just because it, we've already done a full 360 around. So it's not going to have tracking loss if I do a full quarter turn because it has a lot of previous point clouds already captured. Also, there's some holes underneath, so just simply flip them like that. You can gradually start adjusting the angle. And the scanner will pick up those hard to reach areas. Also, there was some there that we didn't get originally. Nice. So let's just check out in the preview screen. It's looking like we've got any holes anywhere. It's ultimately looking pretty good. So let's just complete that. So even before editing it, as you can see, it's a very complete scan. So basic things to keep in mind. Again, just a quick review. Number one, Make sure you at least always capture 
if it's a completely new area you're going to at least 35 to 50 percent of the previous point clouds so smaller turns don't do a full quarter turn right off the bat that's number one keeping your distance right nice things too also that if you do feel like taking a break you can just simply put it down it's not a big deal and it's also handy taking it the single shot from the back of the scanner makes it a lot easier all right hope that was helpful